All right, we are going to get into linear functions. Um, in case you're curious, you've already done this. It, this is just going to be an arithmetic function in explicit form with a slight change on how we did it last time. So if you look here, ready? A race car can travel up to 210 miles an hour. If a car could travel um, continuously to speed of 210 miles, um, it would give the number of miles the car could travel in X hours. Solutions are shown below. 1 mile, 210, 2 mile, double that, 3 mile, triple that, 4 mile, 4 times that, and so on. Um, the graph of a car speed is a function because every x value is paired with exactly one y value. Every input has an output. Because the graph is a non-vertical straight line, it is a linear function. So here we go. We're going to list it. Right, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and x. Then we've got multiples of 210, right? 210, 420, 630, 840, and 1050, right there. Use the table and check that x has a constant change between consecutive turns. That was our difference last chapter. If I subtract, it is constant. It's 210, this minus this, this minus this is 210, and this minus this is 210. All right, we may come back. And um, now check that y has a constant change. Oh, you know what? I did check that y. x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x has a constant change. Yes. And y's constant change is 210. Yes. Comma, 210. Using the answers below, what change in the x corresponds to a change in a y? Well, a change in 1 of x equals a change in 210 of y, right? Every time x goes up 1, y goes up 210. All linear functions behave similarly to one in this example. Based on the information, a generalized that can be made that a where we will say a constant change in x will correspond to a constant change in y. Um, here he is. Almost needs. <coughs> Sorry. Will a nonlinear function have a constant change in x that corresponds to a constant change in y? y? No. And we're going to see it down here, right? Um, the difference, let's, let's keep calling it a difference, right? Difference will vary. And here's one, right? So in this guy, we've got a constant change in x, but let's see if the change in y, when we have the equation of y equals x squared. Using the table of values, check whether a constant change of x responds to a constant change of y. No. x changes by 1 each time. But, let's see, this is by 3, by 5, by 7, by 9, y changes vary. Alright, so we've gone through two pages and that's it for right now. Alright, so the first two pages didn't take very long. I'll see you soon.